Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this reveal animations using Croc Simulation in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 4.0.2, nice. So first of all, let's clear this default by pressing A on the keyboard and delay. Now let's import our model. So here I will be using this Blender kit to get the models and by the way, Blender kit is free to download. So here I will search as skull. So from here I will select the model, simply click on the image and the model will be loaded here. So here you can see we got the model, let's increase the scaling. So select this model, press S and increase the scaling here. Let's close this. So now go to this add mesh selective plane here. This is going to be the cloth. So press S and increase the scaling. So I think this is fine. Press 7 for top view and let's bring it here. And let's place this just above to the skull. So now let's apply the scaling. So go to this object, apply, apply scale. Now press tab key for edit mode or else you can change it from here. Change this to edit mode. Right click, subdivide and complete these options here. And number of cuts, I will increase this to 75. Now you can press tab key or else you can change it from here to object mode. Now let's apply cloth physics onto this plane. So being selected this plane, come to this physics property and apply this cloth physics. So here we got these presets. So simply click on these three lines, we will get the presets here. So from here, I will be selecting this silk preset. And if I play this now, you can see the cloth will be falling down. So now let's select this skull model and apply collision property so that the cloth will collide with the mesh. So if I play this, now you can see the cloth is colliding with our model. So now again, select this cloth, scroll down. We need to enable collision property for this cloth also. So scroll down, come to this collision options. And here you can see we got this self collision rate, enable it. So after that, we need to create a pin for this cloth. And first of all, let's add a ground plane. So go to this add mesh select a plane here, press S and increase the scaling. So this is going to the ground plane. And for this ground plane also, we need to enable collision property. So select the ground plane, come to this physics property, add collision. So now if I play this, you can see it is colliding with the model and also with the ground plan. Nice. So now again, select this cloth, press tab key for edit mode, press seven for top view. So now let's select this vertex here and also these vertices here. So after that, come to this object data properties, click on this plus icon to create vertex group. Just click on this plus icon. Here we can see we got a group created. So I will change this to pin group. And after that, click on this assign button. So this means the vertex what we have selected are assigned to this pin group, okay? Now you can press tab key to exit this edit mode. Now being selected this plane, come to this physics property, scroll down and come to this shape options here. And in this pin group, we need to select the pin which we have created. So I will select this pin group. So now if I play this, you can see we got the pins attached at this position. So now we need to get this animation like pulling the cloth effect. So let's do that. So again, come to the starting frame, press tab key for edit mode. So being selected this vertex, control H, select this hook to new object. So now you can see we got this empty created. So now you can press tab key to exit this edit mode. So now we can control the cloth by using this empty. So if I play this now, and if I press G, here you can see the cloth is not moving. So again, select the cloth, come to this modifier options. So here the cloth simulation should be placed after the hook modifier. So let's bring the cloth modifier below. So make sure the hook modifier is at the top. So if I bring it here, you can see the hook empty is at the top. After that, the cloth simulation is here. So now let's select the empty. And now if I play this, we can now pick the cloth and we can move the cloth as we like. So now let's animate this empty. So first of all, let's see where this cloth gets settled on this floor. So here at 60th frame, the cloth is settled down. So after 60 frames, I will add a position animation for this hook so that the cloth gets pulled off. So being selected this empty, press I on the keyboard, add a keyframe for location. Now let's move like 180 frames forward in timeline and I will bring the empty a bit backward and press I on the keyboard, add a keyframe for location. So now let's play this once again. So if I play this once again, we got our cloth colliding with the object and we got this pull animation also. So we got our cloth simulation done. So now let's select the cloth, right click, shade smooth and let's add a modifier. So come to this modifier options, add modifier, a deform and add this smooth modifier. 
so repeat i will increase this to 10 so that we will get some smoothness here so now let's bake this simulation so being selected this plane come to this physics property scroll down and come to this catchy option so here simulation start and end frame is set to 1 to 250 so if you want to reduce the simulation or increase the simulation just increase or decrease the end frame value so here i will leave this to 1 to 250 only so after that just click on this bake option so here the bake is done and we got our reveal animation using cloth simulation in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye